tutorial, we're going to look at how we can take the data we type into text boxes, validate whether something's been typed in there or not, and then display a concatenated message. So if I press this button as is, we get a pop-up box. This is a message box, and it contains whatever we ask it to display. In this case, error, we need to type something in both text boxes. So if I type something in the first text box but not the second, press the button, we get the same message. But this time, what was in that top text box is cleared, and the cursor is also in the text box. If we miss the first text box, just put something in the second, again, that message appears. But now what was in the second text box, that's cleared as well, and again, the cursor appears in the top text box. If, however, we get it right and we type something into both text boxes, we're now going to have a little personalized message appear in a label control. So look at the code behind the scenes. What I want to do is double click the button. And to bring our attention to the first line, this line is automatically generated when we double click the button. The button is called BTN Display Message because that's what I named it. The default event or action that's going to occur to make this code run is the click event. The click event is the equivalent of doing a single left click on the button. So you can see we declare a couple of variables, no changes there from console programming. But we never want to use console.write or write line or console.readline in Windows Forms applications. So this if statement is basically checking if we have typed or not typed, sorry, if we have not typed anything into either text box, they're both blank or one of them is blank, then show this message box. Message box dot show is how we get that pop-up box. And then the little message that is shown there is whatever we put inside the parentheses. To remove any data that's in those text boxes, we tack on the clear method. So the text property is to do with the data that we type or display in a text box. But the clear method, this is some functionality it can do, um, that's going to wipe and remove anything that's in those text boxes. The select method we would want to associate with one of these text boxes only. This is the method that's going to put the cursor into that top text box. Assuming we've typed something into both text boxes, these two lines will then run. We're accessing the text property of the two text boxes. That's what we've typed. We're going to get rid of any leading or trailing spaces with trim, and then we're going to assign them to the respective variables. And lastly, in the label that I've called LBL message, its text property, similar to a text box, is going to be assigned whatever we type as our concatenated message.